So let me provide some financial guidelines to our master facilities planning uh, process. Uh, again, this uh, entire project is based on key priorities that were identified by community members at our community conversations last year. Um, those are safety and security, ADA compliance, capital maintenance, and modern learning environments. That helped shape our three categories, uh, which were maintenance projects, immediate capital projects, and future capital projects. Although we also know that we need to uh, be able to live within what our financial guidelines are. So as we estimate the total amount of projects that need to be done across the, across the school district um, comes to approximately $129 million in total facility needs. Uh, we also know that we need to prioritize our maintenance projects uh, because that's something that uh, needs to be done and that's been lacking. We're currently at between 80 and 85 thousand uh, dollars in maintenance that we do on an annual basis. Uh, we believe that we need to up that to about 275 thousand dollars based on the needs that have been identified through this process. So our question then became if we're going to address, be able to address our maintenance projects uh, and likely not all of our capital projects because we have such a large number of capital projects that are identified as needs, uh, how much can be levied to address the capital project needs and not increase taxes? And in working with our financial analyst, um, we identified that between 50 and $55 million um, can be levied without increasing taxes um, based on our current uh, financial status. So certainly that will not be able to address all of our capital needs, uh, but it will provide us uh, with an opportunity um, to do a, a significant amount of them. There have been questions about how we can levy 50 to $55 million and not increase taxes. This chart shows the existing debt service plus the potential future facilities and operating referendum and how that financing could occur. So as you see this chart, it identifies that uh, we're currently scheduled for 2018 and 2019 both to carry about $4 million in debt service um, as we're moving forward in our current budget. Um, this is, continues to be done with uh, keeping our mill rate the same at $13.88, uh, which is something that hasn't changed in at least the last five years. Um, and as we move forward, um, you can see that there's a, a significant, significant drop off uh, between 2019 and 2020 on the amount of debt service that we still have to continue to pay. Um, these, this debt is, is being issued from previous referendum um, that are approximately uh, over the last 20 years, um, and that's being retired. So as we would look at potential projects moving forward, uh, then what we can do is backfill um, that debt um, with some new projects and be able to make some progress on our, um, from our master facilities plan. 